day 14 of doing the Wim Hof breathing method. Today's the first time I've tried it sitting down. Usually I lie down and sitting down was much, much harder. Well, the reason why I want to now practice sitting down, because one, it's harder. Two, when you usually want to control your breathing and, and sort of change your chemistry, you're never lying down, you're usually standing up, you're usually sitting down by the table. So I was like, okay, maybe I should just practice sitting down doing the Wim Hof breathing method. And it was way harder, whether it was, I had less control, being having to, to sit up, it required more energy. Um, and I was, and as a result, I required more oxygen intake because I only could do two minutes. Like I could not go anywhere near two and a half minutes. I was struggling to get to two minutes. So I'm going to start practicing sitting and then next I'm probably going to practice sitting like uh, on like a, on like a sitting position like this, because I want to sort of get as close to real life situation as possible. So that in real life, even I want to do it while standing, I want to try the Wim Hof method while standing because when you're in stress situation, the breathing method is usually performed when you're standing or when you're sitting down on like a chair. So that's what I want to do. So two minutes today, I'm going to keep practicing. I'm going to try push it to like two and a half. And, and then when I'm at two and a half, then I'll progress to the next level, which is sitting on a chair. And then the next is standing up. Um, yeah, so it'd be pretty sick if I can get to a point where I can stand up and hold my breath for two and a half minutes and really control the physiology of my body despite having to stand up, have balance. I have to like shut down and slow my brain to the minimum where it's still active enough to sort of stand, sort of, you know, I have to use my legs. Um, I need to use my back, I need to use my abs because when you stand, you're, you're engaging your abs. And despite all that, I'm still able to hold my breath for a long time. And then it would be pretty cool if I could then, I don't know what the next level would be, but maybe it would be like swimming, but I can't swim. Maybe the next level would be walking while having my breath held and seeing how long I could do that, that would be pretty crazy. Also, I wanted to say thank you so much for the support, all the people that are watching every day. Thank you so much for the comment, great work. It's comments like this that keep me motivated. Can't believe I'm day 14 already. Feels like I've been doing this forever. So imagine how like the, the growth I'd be at by day 30, day 60, like pretty good.